Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Today we got two new cards from the upcoming Saviors of Uldum expansion and in this video I'm going to review these two cards and see if they're any good. So the first one is a new Warlock card, Embalming. A 4 mana spell to destroy a minion and shuffle three worthless imps into your deck. In case you're not familiar with what Worthless Imps are, Worthless Imps are cards that used to be created with Sense Demons if your deck was void of demons. So Worthless Imp is a 1 mana 1 1 demon. And Impalming, to be honest, Impalming is a terrible card. I think this card is really really bad. Because, okay, it's fine to have hard removal at 4 mana. Like Siphon Soul costs 6 mana. It's hard removal with an upside, and it's by the way hard removal with an upside that the Warlock really wants, because Warlock severely lacks healing at the moment. This is hard removal with the downside. You shuffle three useless cards into your deck. Of course, people are already trying to justify, okay, but it can be turned into an upside, like I can use Arkville and Rafam and I can turn those three worthless sims into legendary minions, or I can use this in a fatigue matchup, and then I have a fatigue advantage. But if you ask yourself, okay, is 4 mana hard removal useful to me in a fatigue matchup, then I'm sure that you will come to the conclusion that no, it's not. If it's a fatigue matchup, then 4 mana hard removal is completely useless. It has no advantage over, say, 6 mana hard removal. And then if it's an aggressive matchup, more matchup where you need to be defending, 4 mana hard removal, okay, but that's going to mess up my future draws and each of those draws is pretty important. And then you try to think, okay, I can mitigate that with the Wall of Hero power, I can just tap, 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 and then I will have a lot more cards. But if you already need this form and a hard removal, then in that matchup, you can't afford to be tapping all the time either. So this card just has very, very severe downside, and in my opinion, it's completely outclassed by Siphon Soul. But let's not be all doom and gloom, because Shaman is also getting a new card, and that card is Earthquake. 7 mana, deal 5 damage to all minions, then deal 2 damage to all minions. Love the flavor, Earthquake and then the Aftershock. It's a symmetrical board clear, it also kills off your own board, but Earthquake is actually a card, it's a card that answers a need. And Shaman has been struggling against death rattles. Shaman board class, you have like Lightning Storm, you have Hagata Scheme. You're somewhat decent sometimes clearing up white boards. Especially if they're pretty small, then you're okay, you have pretty decent tools. If they're a little bit bigger, Hagata Scheme, if you manage to draw it early, it can do the job. If you manage to draw it late, then well, you're all out of luck now, aren't you? But this one, this one is very solid board clear, 7 damage overall, just shy of killing giant though. Unfortunately, not quite ideal in that sense. And this solves the major problem Shaman has had dealing with stuff like make death rattles, like snip snaps and replicating menaces, and with some other death rattles like soul of the forest death rattles. Earthquake, a sweet answer to those. Definitely a great card for control Shaman, Control Shaman isn't doing too well right now, but there's always some hope for the archetype. We have Hackett at the Witch still in standard, very powerful hero card, a control deck hero card, that's a good sign always if you try to build a control deck, like hmm, having Dr. Boom Mad Genius in your deck or something. But Hackett can fight toe to toe with Dr. Boom, so Earthquake, a great Control Shaman card. Those were the reveals today. There's still a lot to see in the upcoming expansion, but Shaman is getting the nice tool, and Warlock still looks abandoned. But there's plenty of more Warlock cards to come, so maybe, perhaps, one day. I hope. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.